The Maritime and Seafood Industry Museum is already looking to the summer season. Right now, workers are making sure their historic schooners are ready for the tourism season. Destiny Polster shows us what's happening with the Mike Seacool and Glenn L. Sweatman. Captain Ron Ryder says he's ready to get back on the water. As the summer comes on, I might do three trips a day, six days a week. Right now, both the Mike Siegel and the Glenn L. Sweatman are going through maintenance and routine Coast Guard safety checks. But the Sweatman is set to sail this weekend for the first time in three weeks. Well, I talked to someone yesterday and he wanted to come from Dolphin Island. He said, we came about three years ago, we went on the schooner and we have some friends coming into town and we would love to go sailing. So, in fact, that's why we offered a sail this Saturday because he mentioned it. I checked the weather and I said, why not? Ryder has been schooner captain for around 25 years. As captain, he does most of the work on each of the schooners. Oh, all my tools all over the place. <laughs> um, this one is about done. We get a couple more coats of paint on it. We'll put that, maybe we'll have it in the water next Monday. When we do that, shortly after that, we'll have to bring the other one over so the Coast Guard can take a look at it. He says prettying up the sea coal and the sweatmen isn't just for the tourists. It's amazing how much of it is locals. People, and, and it surprises, always surprises me how many of them are on the first time on a schooner ride. To Captain Ryder's surprise, this was my first time on a schooner. On the sweatman, Captain showed me the ropes. This is the rudder, the rudder's down here. So this is what's steering the boat. The two vessels are replicas of original Biloxi oyster schooners. They were once known as the White Winged Queens. And for me, still, after, I guess, being here 36 years, uh, to see them out on the horizon, out there sailing, it's just an awesome sight. Uh, I feel very fortunate I'm still able to share this with so many people. In Biloxi, Destiny Polster, WLOX News Now.